Hey guys and thank you for joining me. I know I was not there for a while. I was not filming any videos. I was not uploading any videos. I was not available on YouTube for a while. But now I'm back. I'm going to upload much more videos than regular. And in today's video, I'm going to do a everyday kind of basic beginner's makeup tutorial. If you're someone who goes office every day and you don't know how to get ready and just put together and look presentable, I'm going to show you in this video how to get ready. So I'm going to start with uh, moisturizing my face first. And today I'm going to use the Body C Vitamin C uh, Glow Boosting Moisturizer. It is a gel based moisturizer and it absorbs quickly into your skin. Moisturizer is very important with or without makeup. It's going to hydrate your face for a very long time and your skin will not feel dry out at all. And the next thing we need a sunscreen. Never ever go out without a sunscreen. The sunscreen is so important for your skin. And today I'm going to use the Lotus. Uh, this is the SPF 40 uh, sunscreen. I do use a VLCC and Neutrogena one as well. So I'm going to use the Lotus one for today. And it is like a tinted uh, moisturizer kind of sunscreen which I'm going to show you right now. This is how it looks. I'm just going to blend it between my fingers and apply it all over my face. I just took a generous amount and I'm going to apply it all over my face. Because this is a long lasting kind of makeup look, we need a primer for that. Primer helps in filling up your pores and also making your makeup last longer. So we're going to take a little bit of primer and just massage it into our skin, focusing on the areas where we have a larger pores. Now next step is filling up your eyebrows. Never skip your eyebrows. Always do your eyebrows. You will see a lot of difference when you, your eyebrows are done. Now to set the hair in place for the entire day, I'm going to use this Make Me Brow from The Essence and I'm going to run it through my brows. After primer, I use a color corrector but in this video, I'm not going to color correct. I'm directly moving to the foundation and today I'm going to use this pack foundation, pack HD liquid foundation. I'm just going to take it at the back of my hand. Just one pump and I'm going to apply this with the help of the beauty blender. If you want you can even use a brush or fingers or sponges depending upon what you have. I just love the finish of the sponge. Now it's time to conceal those dark circles and bring a little bit of brightness under the eyes. For that I'm going to use the Colourpop concealer in the shade medium. I'm going to use in all the places where I need a little bit of brightening up. I'm going to use it under my eyes bridge of my nose, uh, my chin and a little bit of forehead as well. And then I'm going to blend it using the same sponge. After concealer, it's very important to set that concealer in place so that it will not crease for the entire day. For that, I'm going to take a little bit of loose powder. This one is from the Colourpop. I'm just going to place it under my eyes. And we are going to leave it like this for a while. Until that, I'm going to move to the blush. And today, I'm going to use this Milani brush, Milani blush in the shade Bella Rosa. I'm going to apply it with the help of the brush. This is very pigmented. I'm just going to take a very tiny amount. This is not a tiny amount, this is too much. If it's too much, just take a sponge and just blend it. It's gonna take the excess blush. Now it's time to remove the excess powder which is sitting in our skin. And for setting entire face, I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Matte Magic Powder. I'm just gonna set my entire face with this one. And for highlighter, I'm going to take a matte luminizer. This one right here, I'm just going to take it with the help of my finger. And I'm going to blend it with the help of finger only. I'm not going to use a brush. This should look like a natural and not too much of highlight on the sitting on the top, top of the cheeks. So I'm just blending it with the help of finger. A little bit of mousse as well. Can you see that shine but it's not really overpowering just a little bit of shine just for, just like a uh, like healthy glowing skin now for eyes i'm not doing too much for the eyes i'm just gonna put a kajal on my waterline this one is from the nika just to finish off the eye look i'm gonna use a mascara next which is from the maybelline
Now to finish off the look, I'm going to use a lip liner and the lipstick and the lip liner I'm going to use from the bag. This is in the shade called Infinite Kiss. And the lipstick is also from the pack. This is the soft matte lipstick from the pack. This is in the shade called Red Wine. This is such a beautiful nude shade because I've used a very darker lip liner underneath. That's why it's looking a little vibrant but in itself it's a very beautiful nude shade for my skin tone. And just to set this makeup for the entire day, I'm gonna use a setting spray from the e.l.f. This is a makeup setting spray. I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. Just shake it and spray it. And just wait till it gets dry. And this is the finished look. And with that we come to the end of this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell so you'll be a part of our family and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye